Now, focusing on this right section, let's create the chamfer. I'm going to press letter L. Left click here. And this one. Grab our dimension. Selecting this diagonal line and this line. I'm going to pan. Drop it here. 45. Again, I'm going to split. This one and this one. I'm going to hit escape. Select this one. Control, left click this one as well. Right click and select construction. Next, grabbing our dimension. Selecting this one and this one. Key in 12. Hit escape. I'm going to pan. Let's now add the arc here. I can go to create arc, arc three point. First point here, second point here. Zooming in and drop our final point here. I'm going to press escape. Selecting this line and this line. Control right click, select tangent. Tangent tool still active, selecting this arc and this line. Hit escape, press letter D. Selecting this arc, placing it here, keying in a value of 20 for the radius. Again, I'm going to split this one instead of deleting these entities. Split it here and here. I'm going to hit escape. Selecting this line, this vertical line, right click and construction. Double click my middle mouse to zoom extents. So what we did here will be the same on this area as well. Going to arc, left click, left click and final click here gonna hit escape so notice a while ago we saw a tangent constraint gonna press f8 to toggle the visibility of our constraints going up to constraint selecting our arc and this line gonna hit escape pressing letter d selecting this arc Drop it here, key in a value of 20, pressing enter. Going back to modify, split. Split this one, this one as well. And hit escape, press F9 to hide our constraints. Left click, control left click, right click, and selecting construction. Gonna pan. Pressing L for line. First point here. Second point here. Pressing letter D for dimension. Selecting this line and this line. To project an angle. Dropping it here. Keying in 30. Pressing enter. Dimension tool still active. Selecting this line. And this point, placing it here, keying in 30, pressing enter. Going back to split. Split this one and this one. Hit escape, selecting this line, control, left click this line, right click and construction. Double click my middle mouse. And congratulations, it's all fully constrained. And we can now press letter E for extrude. Now for the profile, selecting this profile, selecting symmetric, and keying in a value of five millimeters. And finally hit OK. 
Congratulations for completing this part.